Well, we thought at the time when when we released the report that, that if they, if they dropped everything and, and went full speed ahead on, on genuine reform, that they could probably get enough done to get back into Rio. But they've been they've been dithering and, and uh, uh, procrastinating, and, and uh, I, I think that time is really shrinking. I mean, there's been a lot of bluster and, and blanket denial, uh, and, and uh, you know, saying you're picking on Russia, not that sort of thing. I can't tell for sure whether they're taking this really seriously or they, they assume that the problem will go away. Uh, in the case of, of WADA, the only statement that uh, has come out recently in, in relation to the third of the ARD programs uh, is that WADA is dismayed. So that would suggest that it's not going to be easy to, uh, to declare that uh, RUSADA is now compliant. We have agreed a roadmap uh, with uh, the Russian authorities on how RUSADA could become compliant. Uh, they are aware of the amount of work that is necessary. Uh, a big priority for us is the appointment of two independent experts to be in Moscow uh, to help build the new RUSADA. And they are also aware of the timelines. It would be much better from everybody's point of view, and particularly from Russia's point of view, if compliance was agreed uh, with Rusada and Araf at, the, at approximately the same time. But the headlines are more dominated by losing sight what makes it truly enjoyable.